What's going on, everyone? First thing first, subscribe, like to this video. Uh, so I'm getting a few comments about uh, how to press local throwing bushes out. So it's very simple. It can be a challenge, but first thing first, uh, make sure you have proper tools when doing a job. Never start a job if you don't have all the right stuff, because then things take longer than usual. So first thing first, what you want to do is get all set up. I got one of those motion cameras, so kind of following me right now. So you want to get your bushing that you're going to get ready to press out or insert. Uh, a lot of times I like to do is, depending on what style it is, I will cut this rubber out or push this sleeve out, then make a slit in the sleeve to make it easier to relieve the tension on the sleeve itself to make it easier to press out. So when installing a bushing, uh, just add a little bit of PB blaster Clean your area up with some uh, scotch bright. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then insert the bushing. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is cut this sleeve out on this controller, and then uh, I get it set up to press out. Hold on one second. All right, guys, so this control arm is off uh, my 2015 Mustang GT. So this rubber is already collapsed pretty much. It's already cracked. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy handy sawzall that I got from Carver Freight. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this rubber insert out. Then I'll make a slit in the sleeve itself to relieve the attention like i said so let me do that let me put my get your safety glasses guys make sure you got your eyewear on you're doing no job without no eyewear all right Let's see if i can get in there first That don't work we're gonna do it like this plug your stuff so this shit don't go off while you're doing other shit go on to your box over here Sorry, this video will take a little bit longer than, than expected. But just want to show y'all easy stuff.
right, guys. Now that we got this set up, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this rubber sleeve out, and then after that, we'll make a slit incision in the sleeve itself, and then we'll get this pressed out right here. Well, right now we're gonna get the rubber portion out. So, like I said, if you can pick one of these up at uh, AutoZone, Riley, Advanced Auto, like I said, this is a snap-on one. Uh, so guys, I do uh, get my stuff off the two truck. So it is a little pricey. It's about a $600 kit. But uh, whatever gets the job done, you know, like I said, make sure you have the proper tools when getting ready to do a job. So let's just go ahead and get this knocked out. Enough of me talking. Hey. All right, guys, so my camera kind of cut off while I was doing this, but uh, like I said, we have the bushing in here. All we gotta do now is you can take your sawzall and make a slit right here to relieve the tension to make this easier to push out. So that's kind of a, a easier way to do it by just getting the rubber out. If you can cut it out, cut it out. If you can press it out, just press it out, then make a slit and then it makes it easier to press out and then make sure where you installing this that this is straight so not caught straight so you want to make sure you're going straight when you're pressing this in just like if you're changing the wheel bearing on a vehicle you want to make sure that when you're pressing it in it's going straight in because if you know if you cock it wrong or press it in wrong basically gonna be doing the job all over because you didn't do it the correct way by making sure this is properly lined up and straight. So. What we can do is, now is we can just take this and I'm just demonstrating how to get this out to the guys just trying to do this at home by themselves or with someone or if you got extra money and you want to take it to the shop, let somebody do it for you, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that either. But uh, for the ones that want to do this at home, 
again, proper bushing set, O'Reilly, Advanced Auto, AutoZone, any place that will, let, that will allow you to rent tools. Second, you can cut the rubber out, depending on what it is, cut it out. I found it easier just pressing the rubber sleeve out and then making that scissor. Cut straight up in the middle. Make it easy. All right, so I'm gonna grab my sawzall right quick, make a slit, and then we'll try to get this, this portion out. And stop the video right there. Let me set up right quick. Alright, so we're gonna attempt to get this sleeve out. So see what I said. Keyword attempt. Is this shit ain't no joke. PV black. <laughs> to my father duties so but uh like i said ball joint kid press out the rubber cut the sleeve makes it a little bit easier uh you can make as many slits as you want to two three the more the merrier just to free up the tension on the bearing sleeve but uh we're gonna end this video off on that uh like subscribe and keep uh supporting your boy stay tuned stay locked in keep doing what you're doing hey stay motivated and first and scratch that just stay motivated be your own self be a better person than you was yesterday and keep grinding and uh like i said keep building and keep doing what you're doing all right appreciate y'all stay tuned